morning brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I wasn't planning to make any videos today, but I have to put this up. I had to remove that video from last night where I was sharing a dream from Gwendolyn Song. Now, she may have repented and gotten turned around, but someone sent me an email reminding me I knew there was something about a message she had gotten that I totally knew was false so I won't share any messages from her but I'm not even going to share that dream because if if demons can give us a false message they can I was thinking I was laying there thinking after I put it up I said Lord can they can give us nightmares. I know that. So I was thinking, is it possible she could have gotten that from an evil spirit? Well, I'm so glad the Lord had somebody to email me this morning. And, and I will link the video. If you follow Gwendolyn's song and you like her, Here's why you need to stop. Let me tell you something. She has got a word from the Lord saying that Dr. O.R. was a prophet of his. No, he's not. See, that I know there are some of you that still believe in Dr. O.R. I did. I was taken in by him until I learned what evil things he was doing um, when he thought nobody was looking. And I'd have to do research into it. There, if you would just look up Dr. O.R. Exposed and pray with an open mind, asking Jesus, is this true? You have to start relying on the Lord. Me too. I I knew there was a message she had put out, but I couldn't remember it. And I should have prayed about that, but I thought that the way it came into my memory last night, I thought it was the Lord saying, you forgot to share that video. Now, was that an evil spirit? Was that my flesh? It wasn't the Lord. I don't believe. Unless, I, like I said, she has repented and stopped following him. See, I don't have the time to go back to Seho Song's channel, which is where she's posting all her things now, and watch them all. Maybe you could go through them and just read the titles and see if you could find where she has repented and come out from believing that and resubmitted her life or whatever. I know when I was deceived by lying spirit, I backed off. And it was something that I got about my nieces going to Mexico. And I was told that if they go, that ISIS was there in Mexico now. And that ISIS... Uh, would um, they were going to go to a missions um, they went to that tourist town I mean I guess they went in the back part where the poor people live and they did some witnessing and taking them some clothes maybe but for the most part it was a vacation to me why would you get up thousand dollars per child to fly them to it's right below the border where a lot of people go for a vacation and just for a missions trip but anyway i got this dream i mean this so-called message that they would be hurt they would be killed all right so i told my sister i didn't have a computer at the time i couldn't tell you I wouldn't anyway, because that was a personal one. But um, I told her, and, it, and, and the message said 
to tell your sister to tell the youth pastor they should not go. Well, maybe they did get some good out of it, learning how the other part of the world lives, you know? And demons wanted them to not go. Like my sister would really believe me. She was already not believing me, but I went ahead and told her. Well, come to pass, she went there. I even asked for confirmation. And the next day, I got another message that said, there will be a 7.0 earthquake in, I think it was Guatemala. My computer keeps trying to go into sleep mode, and it shouldn't be that often. But it's not blacking out, and no time is showing up. See the difference? Okay, anyway. I was told there would be a 7.0 earthquake in Guatemala. But if there wasn't, I wouldn't didn't have to tell. Now, that was, there was an earthquake. It was only a six point something. I discussed it with my daughter, who at the time was like me. We were on the same level. She said, you know how, to, you know, we decided they're always downgrading the earthquakes. It could have been a 7.0, but they're reporting it in America as a 6.3. So I went ahead and told her the, told my sister the message. Okay, well, she texted or emailed me back and said, uh, we're not afraid of the devil and I'm not telling my youth pastor that okay I said okay well I've done what I think I needed to do and that's that I couldn't do nothing more about it well a few months later she goes only one ended up going comes back and we were still Facebook friends at that time her daughter and I were, not my sister and I. And I asked her, how was the trip? And she said, oh, we had a wonderful time. Um, I said, everything went all right? She said, oh, yes, everything went just fine. We just had such a good time. Nothing about how what a blessing it was to get to do whatever they did for the Lord. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. The point is, I learned I was deceived, so I backed off. And I told the Lord, I don't even want to hear from you until I know for sure I'm hearing from you. And I fasted and prayed, and I just didn't, I didn't I put my journal away. I was like, I don't know why I got lied to I said but I don't want to be lied to again and somehow and I don't remember I got the message it was given to me through a video that I had to do adequate spiritual warfare to keep spirits lying and deceiving spirits out okay I think some people I, I've told this before it's been a while but it doesn't hurt to hear it again anybody that feels you're getting dreams, visions, or messages from the Lord, you better be doing adequate spiritual warfare. And in this day and age, I think we all need to be. So that our health is not attacked or our mind is not attacked. You need to be pleading the blood of Jesus. You anoint. I've gone over this before. If anybody needs me, to find that video, I will pull it up and put it in the description box. In fact, I may do that anyway. I may try. I'm really super tired, but I wanted to get this up so that you understand why I took down. I mean, I actually think the dream is highly probable, but see, even the demons know what's happening. They would know something like that is being planned. You see how sneaky Satan is? He can give you the truth. 
I don't think Jesus is going to take turns with Satan and his demons. I don't think Jesus is going to give you a message and then let us demon and then Jesus and then a demon. I just don't believe that. I could be wrong. But do you see our Lord doing that? I just know that Satan knows a whole lot of what's going to happen and he gives these people even ones that turn out to be witches and occultists using tarot cards and trying to um well there was a lady back in 2013 she ended up having another channel oh, re recently too i shared a video of these two ladies uh, when we were praying for minister paul when he didn't make videos for a while and they said that he was um oh i forget now what they said but they gave the message they received. The one received a message and said, Yea, I declare that I am the one who died and rose again from the dead. They know what to say. So I'm telling you that when you test the spirits, I think that's talking about us testing the spirits in each other. There's more to it. Than that when it comes to figuring out if you're hearing from the Lord or not okay I hope I said all I meant to say I told you why I took it down I will put up the video if you want to bother listening to it and you do your own research on Dr. O.R. watch Dr. O.R. exposed the man, I can't even stand to look at him now. I can't believe I watched him for like a year or so. I honestly thought he might be one of the two witnesses that would be here. And now he's claiming he's the one. There's not two. There's just one. It's him. I think I got that right. You can look that up. I mean, it ought to be in the Dr. O.R. Exposed videos. All right, I'll end it here. That's long enough. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection and over each and every one of you as well. Let us use discernment. Everybody pray for more discernment. More and more and more. Me too. Pray for me. I don't want to share things wrongly. And I thank God he had that girl see that video and uh, a lady um, and had her email me. Okay? So that I'll say bye for now, and I'll talk to you later.